Hi everyone, welcome to a quick handbook of Tamil Nadu Government Quota Counseling. Before even we start, one major input for you, one major suggestion. Please don't give up the PDF that has been shared by the Tamil Nadu Medical Selection Committee. The allotments are there, but the seat category mentioned is the candidates category. The first candidate might have been allotted an OC open seat, but it will still say OC service. You will assume that at that rank, you will not get that seat. Please don't go with that. At any rank, the candidates category is not critical, but the seat category is critical because at that rank, if you had an BC open seat, then even if it was taken by a BC service candidate, you would have been eligible because at that rank, the BC open seat was available for you if you are a BC candidate. So please go with Zainard's information or any information which gives you the seat category and not the candidates category. We have done detailed videos on this and we take efforts of four or five days to map the category. Uh, and then upload the data every year. So that information is available. We have also updated it for stray and special stray rounds now. We look at how to view the closing ranks and the quota wise eligibility. What are the different quotas and the eligibility? It is straightforward in Tamil Nadu and the reservation categories, what you need to filter in Zainer and the basic rules of the counseling which will help you. Tamil Nadu has been following All India's model in the last uh, uh, one year uh, after the court case of the previous year, the 2023, where they were uh, asked to follow what uh, DGHS says and Tamil Nadu has been following, allowing upgradation till round three. So that is one input that you have as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. You can go to insights and then get into closing ranks and then say Tamil Nadu it will you can click on Tamil Nadu government quota this is where you get into and here at any point in time if you want to know the rules quota wise eligibility whatever we have listed out here that you can always click at read this before looking at closing ranks on the top over here and that will open up this pop-up and you will be able to see all the information over here you will get this information exact information over here you can always rely on that now what are we going to look at in this session if you have not gone through the demo of Zynert go through the demo of Zynert it will tell you how to use all these filters what are the different courses how why should you use all these filters etc right now we are going to look at only two things one is a quota and the category what are these what do these categories mean who has to fill what quota and category we will always start with 2024 round 1 2 3 and 3 that is the better approach because till round 3 upgradation is allowed we will also explain that later at the end of this video you can view results right now for 1 2 3 we are going to start with the quota there are two quotas how do I man uh, what are these and who is eligible as far as the current rules go the Tamil Nadu government quota including 30 percentage of CMC seats 30 percentage of CMC velour seats are available under the Tamil Nadu government quota everybody who is a native of Tamil Nadu irrespective of wherever you have done MBBS will be eligible FMG I have done my MBBS from abroad but I am a native of Tamil Nadu I am eligible for uh, these set of seats by birth is usually uh, nativity is provided uh, some candidates get nativity based on residence but usually by birth and other state candidates, I am from another state, I am from West Bengal, I have done my MBBS in Tamil Nadu, they are also eligible, including those who done MBBS in deemed universities in Tamil Nadu. So, if you have done an MBBS from deemed university, private institute, government institute in Tamil Nadu, whichever state you belong to, you will be eligible. If you are an other state, state candidate, you will be eligible only for open category seats. So, always you will select only OC category in Tamil Nadu, uh, in the category filters. If you are native of Tamil Nadu, depending upon which category you will belong to, you will select this category, you will also be eligible for OC seats. So, if you are from Tamil Nadu, you belong to MBC category, you will select MBC and also OC. We will come to that when we talk about the result. There is CMC 20 percentage minority quota in Tamil Nadu. So, who will filter this? Uh, how will you filter this? You will buy, get these seats by filtering this. Who is eligible for this set of seats? All candidates who are Tamil Nadu natives who belong to Christian minority. You will have to get a Christian minority certificate from the Tasildar, then only you will be eligible for it. For this academic year, mentioning 2025-26, last, not, not last year. Many Tasildars will refuse, but please go ahead, insist. There is no GO for it. That is why the confusion. You will have to get it basis a lot of uh, pressurizing the Tasildar or asking him to give a certificate being genuine to they refuse to give certificates. Now uh, Tamil Nadu native Christians belong candidates belonging to Christian community are eligible. No reservation here. There are no Christian minority BC seats Christian minority in CMC value. All these are CMC value seats. 20 percentage. Now next we come to the reservation filters. Now what have I done? I am looking at see, Tamil Nadu government quota. I have put in this. I am looking at CMC 20% minority, I have put in this. If I am looking only at the CMC 20% minority, I will say view results because there is no category reservation. All the seats are coming under CMC minority. I will be able to see exact closing ranks available. Right now, I am looking at state rank. I will move on to all India rank because state ranks are not available now. I will move on to all India ranks. 
So all India ranks will give me an idea of which rank was allotted to which CMC 20% minority candidate. But when I am selecting TN government quota, my confusion is these different categories are available. Who is belongs to what category, there is service etc. How do I take it? If you are a non-service candidate, you are not in government service, you have not completed two years of government service, you are not eligible for service seats, then you will select these categories. If you are an OST candidate, you don't belong to any you, uh, particular uh, reservation in uh, Tamil Nadu, then you belong to OC, you will select OC open as the filter. So I am an OC open candidate, I will select OC open as my filter. I will not select service because I am not a service candidate. And then I will view the results for OC open candidates. If I am a backward class candidate, I have a BC certificate from Tamil Nadu, I will select BC open. I am also eligible for OC open. I will select both these both these set of seats and I will say view results. This is where the category of the seat comes in, not the category of the candidate who took the seat. So you will clearly know this category seat has been allotted to this candidate based on the derivation that we have done. We have done it extensively after multiple levels of validation. Now this candidate you can see that the candidate has selected BC open seat and OC open seat and you can see that this candidate who is uh, for Madras Medical College radio diagnosis went till 18,734 rank. Now this is surprising. How can a candidate who is 18,734 get a Madras Medical College seat? This is an OC open seat. How do you define that? You can click on this shade tells you that these candidates are service candidates. So their all India rank is 18,734 but when you click on it you will see that the candidate state rank is 5. Two seats were there, state rank 5 and state rank, uh, whose state rank was 18,734 took those seats. Who? Two candidates, 7,291 All India rank was state rank 1, 18,734 All India rank was state rank 5. They moved up to these ranks because of the incentives and both of them are service candidates. This blue shade will tell you that. That is the clarity that you get from Zainat. So what will I know? I will know that 1. Even if I get 18,734, I will not get a seat. But if I am state rank 1, being an open candidate, even after incentives, everybody moves up. I am still state rank 1 as a BC open or an OC open candidate, then I will get it. Obviously, state rank 1 will get. That information at a later stage, after for further seats, it will be really helpful. Right now, we will ignore this. Once the state rank comes in, we will obviously move on to the state rank and see that state rank 5 got it. Similarly, state rank 59 got it and whether that candidate was an in-service candidate. When this comes to state ranks, you don't need to look at service in-service because already the incentive candidates have moved in. If you have any query on it, call us. We will clearly explain. Right now, look at all India ranks and ignore most of the shaded areas where service candidates have taken seats. This is the first filter that we are looking at where OC open candidates will be filtering out on information on this. Now next thing is we will be looking at uh, OC service candidates. If you are an OC service candidate, uh, we will look at uh, you will look at OC service seats as well as OC open seats because you are eligible for both seats. I am an OC open can service candidate. I will look at OC open and OC service. I am eligible for both seats under government quota. I will filter on that. Similarly, if I am a BC service candidate, what all will I be eligible for? Obviously, BC service. BC open also I will be eligible for. And then I will also be eligible for OC open and OC service because that is available for everyone. And OC service is available for every service candidate. I will filter out all and then further filter out on other information. So this is how you filter out information. Note that again, non-service candidates are eligible only for open seats. Service candidates are eligible for both service seats and open seats. And only service candidates will be eligible for service seats. These are the rules that you need to look at and you need to look at Zynad for seat category. Now we will quickly look at the basic rules based on the TN garments. Uh, TN garments uh, 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 round wise rules. Round 1 all candidates in the merit list are eligible but Tamil Nadu does not allow a application form after round 1. So right now itself before round 1 apply. Even if you have a minor chance don't miss that out and apply right from round 1. Fresh applications are possible in round 1 only. In round 2 fresh applications are not possible. Maybe if the cutoff is lowered then in round 3 Tamil Nadu might allow a fresh application but that is not a given. Don't ruin a seat. I thought that I am an open category candidate. I will not be eligible for certain set of seats. I will not get this. So I did not apply. Don't do that. Apply in round 1 itself if you are an open category candidate. Obviously service candidates will be applying right from round 1. Registration and choice filling. Registration is towards choice filling. Tamil Nadu uses the term registration towards choice filling. You will have to, you can register 
uh, after being in the merit list once you apply you will be in the merit list you can register later to in round 2 but always better to fill choices right from round 1 fresh choice filling in every round in tamil nadu uh, and upgradation is allowed from round 1 to round 2 round 2 to round 3 and round uh, and till round 3 upgradation is allowed it is not allowed from round 3 to stray round so first round you can take a seat go to a better seat in round 2 second round you can take a seat you can go to a better seat in round 3 that is why we always ask you to filter out on the first three rounds that is the safest approach if you are going for, uh, for round 3.5 in tamil nadu was a special round that was created because srinivasa medical college had new lops new seats in after round 3 and before that went in uh, before that uh, srinivasa medical college seats were allotted round 3 uh, were go, uh, were approved round 3 was over so they allowed a special round year where round 3 candidates were allowed to upgrade to round uh, srinivasa medical college this was very few seats don't need to worry about it ignore round 3 uh, round 3.5 round 4 is the actual stray round in tamil nadu round 4 is a stray round no candidate who has got an all india round 3 joint seat or who has been allotted in state round 3 whether you joined or not they are not eligible so one without an allotment in a state round 3 only will be eligible for stray round and no all seat in hand should uh, is the criteria in that case you will go into stray round with very minimal seats but very minimal candidates available so it is a risk one risky one but with a high reward some will not be able to get the seat and that will be a disadvantage for them so be very clear first filter out on round one round two round three look at the safe bets and then move on to round four as far as tamil nadu is concerned because round three is the last upgradable round so this is how you filter on data like you can see uh, from stray round once you are allotted in all india round uh, stray uh, tamil nadu round three and you don't join you are not eligible for further rounds of tamil nadu all india round three joined or all india stray allotted are not eligible for tamil nadu stray rounds the eligibility criteria is given here till round three only upgradation is available so also fresh applications last year were possible in round three because cutoff was lowered we don't know whether cutoff will be lowered this year remarks first filter till round three use all india's rank still state ranks are published but after state ranks are published when will it come only one month later after tamil nadu applications are put up everybody applies tamil nadu verifies after that only your straight rank will come in and service candidates numbers might slightly vary this year because one admission batch is completing two years one mrb batch is completing two years so we'll also have that information uh, soon available for you uh, if you call us we will give that within the next week uh, you uh, use a till state ranks are published after that use state ranks once state ranks are published everybody is in the same line so it might be similar compared to last year you we, like we said blue shade records are in-service candidates with incentives some in-service seats will not will be allotted to candidates without incentives they don't move up the rank if there's one open candidate above the uh, in non-service candidates above them they'll still stay below so the, those will not be shaded so in-service candidates with incentives because they move ahead they are blue in blue shade you will have to uh, consider that while you are looking at uh, information don't rely on dmc's allotment list not because you want to we want you to get into zynet obviously tamil nadu has the highest number of subscriptions and almost half of tamil nadu candidates are zynet subscribers but do that at least from your end don't go with the decisions based on tamil nadu's uh, candidate category which is being mentioned in the pdf at least derive the seat category from your end and that is a huge exercise we do that every year every round and even after 2025 allotments are done we will give you a clear picture of that especially for tamil nadu thanks a lot for watching uh, in case you have any queries on tamil nadu government quota or management quota or any counseling under all india counseling uh, because tamil nadu and all india go tandem in tandem and the closing ranks will be very net to net uh, you will neck to neck you will have to pay take a decision on each round especially after round two Use Zynert. If you have any queries, please let us know. Thanks a lot for watching.